The two-day warning strike embarked upon by the Nigerian Labor Congress received mixed reactions from the residents of Makodi in Benue State. As there was no total compliance, our correspondents observed usual vehicular and human movement as seen in public places. Residents of Makodi woke up to discover a total absent or skeletal bank and other public services in the state. The residents said they did not see or hear any notice to that effect and so became stranded with their plans. I came here this morning and discovered that the gates are locked. And uh, I've been trying, we have been trying to beg those folks there to see how we can enter. They all refused. And uh, we are frustrated here because we need to get money. Uh, today is our popular Gidagba, the New Year Festival. So I came here to get some money so that I can get some things for some friends and my family members. Some expressed divergent views in support of, while others condemned the strike action. We have grown us strike now we should look uh, outside the box and think what will develop this country not strike 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 always strike has put many people to their grave so they should find a way to resolve their problem with federal government the leadership of the country the president and the governors we have not seen the concrete plan by the money they want to use to reach to the masses and that will put in the effect of that subsidy Strike is the only option left for organized labor because uh, during the protest, federal government promised, made promises, and labor gave it a time to ensure that these promises were brought into uh, actualization. The essence was simply because once the promises of by federal government were carried out, the, 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 the people were going to be alleviated from what they were passing through as a result of subsidy labor. But after some time, uh, Labour Labour Labo saw that nothing was done. This part, the right of promises that the federal government issued out following the protest. So they decided to embark on a winning strike, two days winning strike. The NLC has said there will be a total shutdown if the government fails to implement the agreements reached between the government and the organized unions to cushion the effect of the fuel subsidy removal on Nigerians.